<laughs> Woo! <laughs> that is sick, I'm getting towed. <laughs> Yo, good morning guys. Welcome back to another drift fishing video. So look, I was gonna fish a freshwater lake this morning, but I've had a change of mind. See, I've got this theory. So we've been in lockdown for the last five weeks. So there's been no fishing pressure at all. So my thinking is, these fish haven't had a period like this since the 1850s. And what I'm hoping, with the lack of that fishing pressure, that they've all moved inshore. So in reality, we haven't had a situation like this before and hopefully we don't have another situation like this again but you'd be silly to miss out on such an opportunity i mean look at this perfect conditions and not a single boat anywhere i'd imagine that all the fish have basically pushed in chasing all the bait schools no one's been there to disturb them so hopefully these inshore areas are holding a heap of fish more than they would normally so let's hope see if that theory holds true Hello. So I'm just going to head out in the bay here, there's a nice reef up in front and there uh, should be some current pushing through it, tides going out and yeah we're going to see if we can find something. So this is just a little inflatable kayak I use for lakes and stuff like that. I've got a day with two to four knot winds, can't get better fishing conditions than this guys. So yeah if you want to see what fishing is like after five weeks of zero fishing pressure at all, I'm curious too. Stick around and watch the rest of the video and if you're new here don't forget like and subscribe as always and enjoy guys so first things first i'm going to paddle out to this um this rocky island out there that little reef and while i paddle out there i'm going to see whether i can find a car one maybe there we go these little things are great this is a jackson athlete 9jm really really awesome to tow behind and throw around for, for car wire and for snapper as well. Shallow water snapper, love this thing. So I'm gonna go stick that on. And hopefully something nabs it while we're trolling. It's the old lefties loop. Quite a good knot for uh, lures. Because you don't get that stiff connection like you would with a clinch or something allows those lures to really really swim all right guys we're trolling yeah so look I'm really really interested to see how this pans out um, I really do think with this lack of pressure that there's just gonna be an enormous amount of fish in shore the fact that they can go about and do what they always used to do without getting harassed yeah I reckon come come the end of the lockdown everyone's gonna get in their boats and they're all gonna blow out real far looking for you know fish at their old haunts and all that sort of stuff and they're not going to be there they're all going to be in shore so yeah i'm hoping this theory holds holds true anyway oh wow this is this is surreal this is so calm and there's not another boat anywhere there's just no noise at all you know, it's like there's been a zombie apocalypse or something there's just no one around it's a completely different experience Peaceful. Just gonna have a cast in here. You've got some current pushing through a gap. And if I'm right, should be some car wire holding it here. Well, I was right. The birds have definitely come in, and I've got a work up right in front of me. Oh, this is gonna be sick. This is gonna be an awesome day. I'm so excited. Oh, I missed him. There we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's it. <laughs> that is sick. I'm getting towed. <laughs> Get 
in tow. <laughs> this is great. That's what we're talking about. Ew. <laughs> See, most people over here, they sort of car wise a pest because they're they go after snapper and all that sort of stuff, and yeah, look, most of the time they are. But um, you're actually targeting them, you know, on purpose. They can actually be quite, quite fun to catch. I mean, the reality is, would you rather catch nothing or catch a car wire? Oh, nice one. Nice one. There we go. The Jackson 9JM pays off again. Sick. And they're busting up right next to me. I love it. You'll have to forgive my excitement, guys, but um, yeah, that was a heap of fun on the kayak. That was wicked. I'm gonna get a couple of more, get my fix, and then I'll switch over to snapper. Chasing busters. No three meter flatties, but uh, Hey, bust up's a bust up, eh? Hey? Alright, we'll go on the secret weapon. Go on the flea. These things are so versatile. And if the car wipe pop up as well, then I can just chuck this at them. Because those guys all love these. Alright, let's do it. Drift time. On. Yeah, nice. That's a snapper. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's a car wipe. Yeah, boy. That's what we're talking about. Oh, man, I love these fleas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is so much fun. That just shows you how effective those fleas are. There. Honestly, if you haven't tried fleas before, they are such an awesome lure. They catch so many fish and big fish too. I mean, I've caught kingfish on these, I've caught big snapper on these. I mean, they're just a little lure that just packs so much punch. Love them. Can't ask for better conditions, huh? Bloody awesome. Yeah, a bit of fun, man. Something to do. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully I stick around for a bit because the snapper will come in. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. You never know. Hey, guys. <laughs> and that's 28 gram just there. You know, tiny as. I just love them. You can cast them for miles too, so you can work so much more distance. Um, yeah, they're really, really great car wire. Right? So I'm jumping. There we go, I missed them. There we go, fish on. Oh, getting towed. <laughs> we'll go for a ride. Oh, this is great fun. Honestly, after being locked up for five weeks with no fishing, we finally being allowed to get out and um, do something. It's great. I could do this all day. Probably will do it all day. Because this weekend is looking terrible, so that's why I headed out today. Definitely better than Netflix. Definitely better than an exhausted Netflix. Ah. Terrible knitting job. Ah, there we go. On the flea. Right, so 
out far from the reef hasn't really been producing too much. So I'm gonna head inshore, go towards the reef, just over there, and um, yeah, try and a little bit closer. You never know, they could be all hanging in close and I'm out here. So let's get to it. Yep. Really keen on finding a snapper. See if we can find one. There's just heaps of car wire around at the moment, so what I said earlier about them being so much fun to catch and all that sort of stuff, when you're trying to target snapper, they tend to be a little bit of a pain in the ass. You can't get past them. Let's do a bit of wash fishing. Uh, not quite. Probably a little bit closer than that. I'm gonna go for a 14 gram. A little bit smaller, a little bit lighter, uh, a little bit more sink time as well, whether that's a trick, because sometimes if they're eating small, um, you just get no bites, so this may be the case today. I don't know what those car wire were feeding on, but turns were involved, so whatever it was, it would have been small. Little 14 grammar, tungsten jig, let's do it. See that gets a fish. We're on. Yeah, that's a snapper. That's a snapper. That's definitely a snapper. So that was on the um, the change to the smaller 14 gram flea. And um, yeah, probably third cast, I reckon, bang. And I've probably had 30, 40 casts out of the um, out of the heavier one and had no luck. So sometimes it pays to experiment, eh? I don't know why, it's, you know, I spend a lot of time fishing for small snapper in the boat um, and somehow I just don't get the same joy out of it as uh, doing something a little bit different here, you know? Ooh, this is a good fish. Haven't seen it yet. Oh, nice snapper. That's what we're talking about. That's my first uh, post-COVID snapper. Oh, yes. Yes. That's what we came here for. Yeah, guys. You. <laughs> yeah. It's that. You on the flea. Oh. Well, that's what we came here for, guys. Really wanted to see whether the snapper had moved in close, and um, that was a really, really nice one. I'm stoked with that, so that's completely made my trip. Yeah, that was an awesome bite. Just knew immediately it was a good sized snapper. So, what did I tell you guys? Short jigging or jigging at range with little fleas and these sort of things, honestly. So effective on snapper. There we go. There we go. That's no, just a little one. Um, still a snapper though. There we go. Oh, it's a trev. Hey, cute. Didn't expect that. There we go. Yeah, no, I thought it was a uh, snapper. Anyway, going back. Oh, yeah. We're on again. I reckon this one. Trev or is it a snapper? It's got head shakes. Or a snapper. Or a good Trev. Phew. These things get side on, they fight so hard. <laughs> He's towing the whole bold boat. Phew. He's going nuts. <laughs> That's a good trip. There we go, guys. 
quality trip. Just gonna try a bit of wash fishing just for just for interest. I've got a really light soft bait on here, so I'm just gonna drift it through and just let it slowly sink. Just see if there's anything hanging around in these um, wash areas before I shoot off. There we go, there we go. That's a snapper. That's a snapper in the wash. Not overly big, but... Oh, I might go legal. Okay. Yeah, so look, um, the theory was right, guys. The snapper have moved in close. So yeah, the idea of heading wide, I mean, look, wide will probably be good too if we do get out of the boats, but um, yeah, I reckon most of the snapper have pushed in close because they're not scared, they're not getting caught, there's no pros targeting them, nothing like that. So yeah, give it a go when you get out, guys. <laughs>